Donkey Kong Jr. cereal. It's pretty wild. <laughs> Donkey Kong Jr. cereal is part of this complete breakfast. It tastes like fruit and it's lots of fun. It's wild with fruit flavor. Donkey Kong Jr. cereal. Gentlemen, turn on your lights. Slam Shark Camaro, Avenger Competition Mustang, Sabertooth Tiger Datsun CX. They're powered by your fist, and if you want to race in the dark, you turn on just one switch. Each sold separately, AAA battery not included. Lighted Slam Shifters, Slam Shark Camaro, Avenger Competition Mustang, Sabertooth Tiger Dutz and ZX. Each sold separately from Ideal. Decree, I smurf this day to be Smurfette Day. I smurfed a little gift for you, Smurfette. Oh. Oh, it smells beautiful. Thank you, Papa Smurf. And here's a special Smurf Berry dessert, Smurfette. Oh, thank you, Greedy. Here's a surprise. How sweet! <laughs> oh boy, I'm gonna smurf her again too! When Smurfette puts on these smurf colored glasses, she'll think I'm the handsomest smurf of all! Hey! Everything looks normal! Oh, they don't work! Now what am I gonna do? A rainbow! I heard Papa Smurf say that sometimes a rainbow can make magic. Now if I can just remember Papa Smurf's magical phrase. Rainbow, rainbow, shining bright. I'll make these glasses pure of sight. Wow! <gasps> they work! I'm the smurfiest smurf of all. The smurf that can't help but love me best of all. That storm looks like a mean one. When my storm reaches the Smurfs' village, Azriel, the wind will blow them right into the river Smurf and right into my net. <laughs> Smurfette! Smurfette! These are for you, Smurfette. Oh, they're beautiful, and they sparkle too. Thank you, Handy. Try them on right now, Smurfette, and, and, and look at me. Oh, it's gonna rain. The party will be ruined. But you can still try them on. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Uh, try the glasses now, Smurfette. Oh. It's a hurricane. Quickly, take cover in the caves. Oh, <laughs> Why don't you try the glasses now, Smurfette? Andy, help! Smurfette! Smurfette! Whoa! Now 
doesn't work, then I'll think of another even more evil, as long as one miserable little smurf is left. Yeah. Oh, all that work, my storm powders, the giant net, and no smurfs except... Don't be blue. I'm here, Karki. Quiet, you vile, miserable smurfette. Oh, but you're so sweet and cuddly. You are music, you are poetry, you are... Stop it! Stop it! That disgusts me! But... Not another word until I figure out what to do, or I'll feed you to Asriel. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! I'll turn you back into my slave, just like you were when I first created you. <laughs> A piece from the Smurfette's dress. Uh, and our houses. I wonder who... Gargamel. Oh, no. If Smurfette had those glasses on... My prince is you. <laughs> That's her. And she's singing. She must have the glasses on. Poor Smurfette. I just wanted her to like me. This is for you, Smurfette. With you in my power, you will lead the Smurfs right into my hands. <laughs> and get rid of those vile glasses. Oh, wait a minute. You're just plain old terrible nasty Gargamel. Here I come, Smurfette. <laughs> huh? oh. <laughs> it must have been the glasses. Oh, you terrible nasty wizard. That's right. <laughs> I am nasty, aren't I? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> now let's get down to business. No, no, please. It's the Smurfette, Papa Smurf. We have to get her out of there. I hate Gargamel. After a little bath in this potion, Smurfette, you'll be as nasty as I. <laughs> Here, Smurfs. Ouch! Oh, dear! Run, Smurfette, run! Gargamel, let him go! 
Let him go. <laughs> never, never, Asriel. <sighs> Watch them while I take care of the Smurfette. You mean a nasty and terrible Gargamel. Oh, more, more. That's music to my ears. Big Mouth hungry for goodies. <laughs> oh, no. Big Mouth stuffed face. Oh, uh, 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 well, sure, Big Mouth. <laughs> but all I have is in the cupboard there. This is all my fault, Papa Smurf. If I hadn't made those Smurf-colored glasses... Smurf-colored glasses? Do they work? Too well, that's the problem. Hmm. <laughs> they may come in handy yet. Handy? Big Mouth still hungry. Uh, but uh, uh, but I, I don't have any more. I get mad when I'm hungry. Oh, Mr. Big Mouth, I'll tell you how to find all the food you can eat. All I can eat? Yum, yum, yum. Ah! You go with this for us, and it's right in the middle of the and you got there, you hear? Glasses? See for yourself. No, 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 don't! Mmm, wizards look good enough to eat. Cat too. Oh, no, 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 you're wrong, Big Mouth. It's, it, it, it's those glasses, you, you, I, uh, I, uh, let's get out of here, Asriel! <laughs> Big Mouth like goodies! No! No, no, get away! Get away! I'm not what you think! <laughs> I hate laughing. Hooray for the Smurf Cat! Yeah! I made such a Smurf of things. Yoo-hoo! Handy! Aren't you coming to my party? Handy, are you all right? Go on, Smurfette. Smurf me a good one right here. I deserve it. A real good one? Hard as you can. Handy, are you sure? Absolutely. Okay, here goes. <laughs> but, but I thought you'd be mad at me because of all the trouble those glasses caused. You didn't need those glasses for me to like you, Handy. I, I didn't? Nah, I like you just the way you are. Really? Oh, boy. Then I'm gonna smurf you the smurfiest present ever. I hate being flattened. Smurfs will return after these messages. When you have a friends get together, one just never stops. Hey guys, look what I got! <laughs> Jello pudding pops. It's creamy Jello pudding frozen on a stick. Hey, let's go on top. Good friends are for sharing the things you like a lot. Good times are for sharing. Jello pudding pops. Go on. You can imagine they're from another world. Mighty robots disguised as mighty vehicles. You can pretend only you and the friendly GoBots can save the Earth from the enemy GoBots. You're trapped, Turbo. You don't want to the rescue. They hide among us as earthly vehicles, but you can change them into robots, each sold separately. Take this, Psycho! Now who's trapped? <laughs> GoBots. Leader One, Turbo, and Psycho, each sold separately. New from Tonka. McKeon, and I'll be right back with one to grow on. Alfie, the bees are missing from <laughs> alphabets. Nancy McEvil again. Get him, Alfie. <laughs> Post alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. It's doggone good. Who's that turning on your wheels? Who's that riding at your heels? Reflector and Fun Club games in each specially marked box of post alphabet cereal. Watch. Here comes a nerd. Can I play? Who <laughs> is Why don't you go catch some of your butterflies or something? <laughs> this is a serious game. So Bobby's an oddball, right? Wrong. It's funny, but believe it or not, some people have thought I was strange. But once they got to know me, they realized I wasn't. 
You see, it goes back to that old saying, you don't really know someone until you know someone. People have a way of surprising you, if you give them a chance. Aw, uh, come on, guys. What have we got to lose? Hey, Bobby! I didn't know it could shoot like that. My man, 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 Lazy, but there's nothing I can do. The best medicine for a good night's sleep is plenty of plain old exercise. Exercise? Yes. Sit-ups, push-ups, jogging, toe touches, jump rope, knee bends, chin-ups, swimming, hiking. Oh, no! Not exercise! Oh, Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Look at my poor sick plant! It's so, so wrinkled! It's not catching, is it? No, Vanity, just go home and relax. I'll see what I can do for it. So, what did Papa Smurf give you? A potion, a powder, a... He said there was nothing he could do. Nothing? Oh, there has to be a mistake. Now, you wait right here. I am a personal friend of Papa Smurf's, you know. I'll see what I can do. What a pity. If only he had come to me sooner. <gasps> Perhaps I could have helped, but now... I'm afraid it's too late. Looks like this is the end. <sighs> I'd say two more days at the most. Ah, oh, poor Lazy. Only two more days before he... before he... <gasps> I'd better go tell the others. Smurfs! Oh, Smurfs! I have tragic news! Papa Smurfs is lazy has only two more days left! Before what? Before he smurfs! I can't believe it! Neither can I! Poor Lazy! And Papa Smurf says there's nothing he can do to help! Then we have to make Lazy's last two days a happy two days! I know! We'll give him a going away party! Yeah! I'll bake a big cake! And I'll pick some pretty flowers! Little plant, I'm going to make you well if it takes every trick I know. Oops, too much. Papa Smurf, we want to invite you to... Please, Brady. I, I, I'm very busy right now. Um, yes, Papa Smurf. Oh, dear. Papa Smurf's really taking it hard. I, I guess we'll just have the party without him. Oh! Great party! Come, Lazy! Yeah, 
Mike Murphy, the wife for me. You mean you don't know? Why, you... Uh, it's because we all like you so much. Oh. <clears throat> well, you, Leslie, you... Gosh, a portrait. Thanks, painter. You always wear my favorite subject. <laughs> Where? And now, an ode to Lazy Smurf. <clears throat> he may have his faults, you know, like sometimes <clears throat> oversleeping. But his leaving now, as we all know, has the whole village weeping. <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere, especially with such good friends around. <laughs> Sounds like my Smurfs are having a party. Hmm. Wish I could join them, but first things first. Too bad this is Lazy's last party. What? I said, too bad this is Lazy's last party. <laughs> last party? What did he mean, last party? Uh, well, he means that... Clumsy, you talk too much and too loud. Just because Papa Smurf said there was no cure for Lazy and he was going to Smurf off in a few days is no reason to blab. And furthermore... <laughs> Leave it to Clumsy to spill the beans. So that's it. I'm not long for this smurf. I should have known something was wrong <laughs> not being able to sleep. Poor Lazy. Poor Lazy. But I'm not going to take this lying down. Am I a smurf or a mouse? Lazy, where are you going? To make the most of my final hours. To do all the things I was always too tired to do. Oh, like what, Lazy? I'm gonna climb the highest mountain, ride the wildest rapids, tame the fiercest beast. That sounds dangerous. It is! Lazy! Wait! Look out, rapids! Here I come! Quick, Smurfs! Into the boat! We have to stop him! Lazy! Wait! Stop! Don't do it! Relax, Smurfs! What have I got to lose? Lazy! Oh my! He's done for! Oh my oh my God. God. Oh. And so are we! Row! 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 Papa Smurf always said never to row this far out because there's a big drop. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what a smurfy ride that was! And what smurfy friends you are to keep me company in these final moments. We keep you company back at the village, Lazy. Oh, not yet. There's so much more to do. Together. Do? Together? I'm going to climb to the top of the highest mountain. Slow down, Lazy. This could be dangerous. I appreciate your concern, my friend. But danger has no meaning for me anymore. Last one down, the rotten first. <laughs> oh, loyal friend, I do appreciate you trying to cheer me up. Because of you, Smurfs, I'll never forget this day. Lazy, can't we go back to the village now? Not yet. I have to find one last great challenge. Something that oh, no other Smurf no. has ever done. There. That's it, Smurfs. <sighs> I'm going to tame that mighty beast. But, but, but it looks so big and mean. The greater the challenge. Lazy, stop, please. You can't do this to us. You mean you deny a doomed Smurf his final wish? Well, uh, we, uh... It's just that, uh, uh, you need a cape to do this right. Yeah, a cape. Right, a cape. Oh, yeah, you're right, Smurfette. I'll be right back with a cape. Now what do we do? Oh, if only Lazy had challenged that beast instead. That's it! While Lazy's gone, we'll switch animals. I was just going to suggest that very thing myself. But first, I had to weigh the various aspects of the problem. You see, every problem... Hey, wait for me! <laughs> uh, 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 okay, should do it. Everybody, out of sight. Well, 
little plant, you've made an amazing recovery. Wait until Vanity sees you. Oh, Vanity! Vanity! Here's your plant, it's all... Hey, where is every Smurf? Yeah, that could only be harmony. I'd better see what they're up to. Ahoy! Ahoy! Yeah! Good Smurfness! What's going on here? Oh, Papa Smurf, we're so glad you could join our farewell. Lazy. Farewell? He's not long for the Smurf, remember? No, I don't remember. But, but I specifically heard you say he only had two days left and... So that's it. I was talking about Vanity's plant here, not Lazy. Oh, you're all well again. Happy, happy day. There's nothing wrong with Lazy that a little exercise won't cure. Did you hear that, Lazy? You're going to be fine. Papa Smurf says so. Then what am I battling this fierce beast for? Yay! <laughs> my little Smurfs. Before you go off half Smurf, remember, there's a lot of life to live every day. Right, Lazy? <laughs> I told him all he needed was a little exercise. Well, little friend, it looks like you and I eat alone tonight. Convertible, each sold separately, all battery powered with real motors. And its own power motor makes it go, go, go. Oh, oh, power wheels, oh, oh, power wheels, power wheels, power wheels, power makes it go. Your parents assemble them easily, then off you go over the hills, around the trees. Oh, oh, power wheels, oh, oh, power wheels, power wheels, power makes it go. Power wheels, classic convertible, Raider, and High Rider all run on rechargeable batteries, each sold separately. Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons.
to you, I... Somebody do something! Not one may not be as big as yours! But it's just as strong! Dungeon Master said the fire in the ice would show us the way home. It's a close second. We were almost home. Watch where you put your dumb club. Watch where you put your dumb feet. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Take it easy. Sis, I hate this. I don't want to be in this world anymore. <laughs> I want mom and dad and, <laughs> and our house and my friends and... It's okay, Bobby. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. This is all Venger's fault. We ought to do something about that guy. Eric's right. Yeah? Yeah. And we are going to do something about him. We are? That's right. The only chance we have of getting out of this world is if we take care of Venger once and for all. How? Nobody can stop Venger. Not even Dungeon Master. Wrong. There's one thing that can. A dragon. Tiamat. You're crazy. You got any better ideas? I didn't think so. Hank, don't you remember? Tiamat's the most dangerous dragon in the realm. How can we possibly use her to finish off Venger? We'll find a way. Come on. I don't know. This is gonna be dangerous. We'd better keep our eyes open. Yeah! Dungeon Master! I am sorry that your quest for a way home met with failure. Perhaps you will have better luck in the future. But now, there is great danger ahead. The Duke of Darkness has taken over the land of... Wait, Dungeon Master. We only want to hear two things. How do we find Tiamat, and how do we use her to beat Venger once and for all? Listen to me, Ranger. Do not let your anger control you course you are taking can only lead to ruin. So then, it has come to this. Tiamat lives where the dragons go to die. The place that is the source of your weapons. The dragon's graveyard. As for how to use her to overcome Venger... No riddles. Tell us straight. Ask her. She may help you. But then, she may not. May I go now? Dungeon Master, wait! 
How do we get to the dragon's graveyard? You carry the way with you. Let it begin with you, Ranger. I said no riddles. Okay, you heard him. Let's go find the dragon's graveyard. Hank, if we find Tiamat, and if we convince her to help us against Venger, what'll we do with him once we've got him? Whatever it takes. Let's go. No sign of them. What? They have escaped again! This will be the last time! Master meant when he said, we carry the weight of the dragon's graveyard with us. Beats me. The only thing I'm carrying is this club, and it's getting awful heavy. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe that's what he meant. Our weapons. Oh? After all, we carry him with us, right? He said, let it begin with you, Ranger. It's worth a shot, and we've got the time. Accessories sold separately, batteries not included from Fisher Price. Welcome to Precious Places. It's a town with a surprise because when you move a magnetic key, you make them come alive. With the key in your hand, you make the people come and go. It's a wedding day, and a turn of the key makes the church lights glow. Here comes the bride. Then the key starts the music at the gazebo. In Precious Places, when you use the key, what you imagine is what will be. The Precious Places collection from Fisher-Price, each sold separately. Parents put them together, batteries not included. Right here. Synchronized cookies. Fight. Not again. Well, 
The feet never tasted so sweet. Chips Ahoy cookies. Bet you bite a chip. Hey, want to try again tomorrow? You bet! And now, back to Dungeons and Dragons. Graveyard. Wait! We're not done for yet. We can still use our weapons to find it. That's right. And Dungeon Master said to let it begin with me. Okay. Here goes! Whoa! Huh? What's going on? Look! Hey, watch it! Now we find Tiamat. How do we know which one of these is her? Simple, dummy. She'll be the one who attacks us. Huh. Very funny. Boy, I'm glad they don't grow them that big anymore. a weapon. I wonder what they used it for. Maybe they had a marching band? M maybe they didn't. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that either. It's Tiamat!
way to go, Hank. That really calmed her down. Maybe this will make you listen. Huh? What's going on? Yeah, how your weapons get so powerful? Hold your breath! Run! No! We've come too far to give up now! Whatever it is, it's not enough to stop Tiamat. Yeah, she's worse than Fender ever thought of being. What do you know of Fender? Dungeon Master said you might help us defeat him. Yeah, only you can destroy him. In the dragon's graveyard, your weapons are stronger than yeah. <laughs> She's right. We can do it. But, but you, you must face him here. here. And in that, I, I can, can help, help you. What do we do now? Wait, I guess. I don't know anything I could do for you, Uni, except make Venger sorry. Bobby, I'm worried about you. No kid your age should hate anybody this much. Like I said before, Hank, don't worry about me. Worry about Venger. I must have those weapons. They are all that stand between me and complete mastery of the realm. This works. <laughs> this is weird. It feels like it's alive. It sure doesn't feel like a weapon. Speaking of weapons, get yours ready. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Indeed, what we have all been waiting for. Arise. Arise. What does he want? We're already standing up. Oh! Not us! Them! Let's do it. Yeah, that Venger's just a wimp. He's afraid to fight his own battle. Wait till he sees what our weapons can do. Those bags of bones will be pushovers. You sure? Just look at them. Poor things haven't had a bite to eat in weeks. <laughs> self-defense.
It's up to you, Hank. What are you gonna do? If I did, we'd be no better than you are. We've beaten you, and you know it. Do you understand, Venger? I didn't do it for you. I did it for us. But what about Uni? Take heart, barbarian. Not everything in this graveyard deals death. the realm, as shall we. Dungeon Master, what happens now? That is up to you, Ranger. But know this, you have taken your first step home. Puppy, how much you love him with snuggly pound puppy outfits. Inky, your hooded on t shirt. We're going biking. Snap your pop, jabby jacket. Pound puppies and outfits, each sold separately. Whoa, now let's walk to the park. Uh oh, thunder. Put on your dry doggy rain gear and you'll stay dry as a bone. Put it on t shirt, dry doggy rain gear, pup's jazzy jacket, and pound puppies all sold separately from Tonka. Two great tastes, maximum fluoride protection. At your fingertips. Milk, it does. Milk, it does the body. Milk, it does the body go. Pass it on. How's that go? Build your bones so you can grow. Milk's got calcium, don't you know? It does. So good for teeth, it makes you smile. It's so good, it's wild, wild. Milk, it does the body good. Pass it on. It's new Rocky Road cereal with Choco, Van, and featuring Marsha. Choco chocolatey puff, it makes my heart sing. Van vanilla puff is such a tasty thing. But Rocky Road got something special for you. It's got a chocolate and nutty coated marshmallow too. New Rocky Road cereal, little marshmallows with a chocolatey nutty coating mixed with vanilla and chocolatey puffs. Part of this complete breakfast. Waking up to Rocky Road makes your heart sing.
Transylvania. Yes, Penny, Transylvania. Home of the legendary Count Dracula and other ghost goblins and spooks. What's wrong with Brain, Penny? I think he believes in ghosts. Don't you, Brain? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Sorry, Brain, I couldn't resist that. These roads are an absolute menace. Go, go, Jack-a-mobile. This nasty Transylvanian atmosphere is good for my health. Our friend Inspector Gadget approaches. You know what must be done. Hmm. Looks like a ball crossing ahead. Good evening. Whoa. That border guard looks a lot like Count Dracula. Oh, yes, of course, Penny. They do it all for the tourists here. Where are you going? I'm going to a law enforcement convention up in your beautiful mountains. Is that so? <laughs> How interesting. Uncle Gadget, look. <laughs> Very entertaining. A little show for the tourists. Very scary, eh, Brian? We do it all for you. Have a nice visit. convention, you'll be able to enjoy this spectacular scenery. I can't see a thing. As a matter of fact, Penny, neither can I. Only one way to fix that. A little gadget firework should do the trick. I think I liked it better with the fog. Let's see. The screening tunnel, Batwing Peak, the skeleton pass. We should be right there. The Skull Inn. Is this where they're having the crime-fighting conference? You know how it is with the chief. He loves his secrecy. They've gone to great expense to get the spooky atmosphere just right. Any of the other inspectors here yet? <laughs> hey, Chief, great disguise. Ooh. Were you followed? <laughs> Were we followed? That's a good one. The Chief invites me to a mountain resort in the middle of nowhere, and he asks me if... What? This is serious, Gadget. A few hours from now, law enforcement officers from all over the world will be having a secret conference here. You see that castle? That's Count Dracula's former home. Right. I saw it mentioned here in the tourist brochure. Visit Count Dracula's haunted castle. Lately, the villagers have been hearing voices up there. Chief, these local superstitions are utterly ridiculous. Read that. Dr. Claw planning to sabotage law enforcement convention. Suspect he's in Dracula's castle. Your mission is to get Claw before he gets the convention. This message will self-destruct. Don't worry, Chief. I'm always on duty. Oh. So, Gadget, I'll show you some sights. Your last. <laughs> Claw would never use this place as a hideout. Why not? Well, for one thing, it's too obvious. Company approaches. Time to lay out my welcome mat. 
Get the Bucket Man Cat. Just a rough patch, Penny. We'll be over it in just a moment. Please. With the gadget mobile, everything will be fine in five minutes. Yeah! Uncle Gadget! I'll be back in a minute. phone the tourist bureau and complain about these roads. Come on, Brain. What's the matter with you two anyway? He's afraid of ghosts. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to get over those silly superstitions. You see, nothing to be afraid of here. I wonder where the tour guide is. <laughs> What's that sound? Why? <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Brain. You could give someone a terrible hang. Frightened, my friends. <laughs> Is everything ready? I'm scared too, Dr. Claw. I've been hearing noises in this place all morning. Enough. Ooh, you're as bad as that little girl and her dog. Set the plan in motion. I keep feeling someone is watching us. Someone or something. Nonsense, Penny. Your imagination is playing tricks on you. But just to reassure you, let's go and check all the closets. <laughs> okay, but don't get too far ahead of me. Hmm. This door seems to be locked. Let me see here. Don't, Uncle Gadget. Nonsense, Penny. It's probably just locked by mistake. My gadget skeleton key will unlock it in a snap. <laughs> see? So much for ghosts. Some careless person has left the window open. Frightened brain, but try not to be so clumsy. These are probably priceless fake artifacts. Come upstairs for a little visit. That's just what I want you. <laughs> Inspector Gadget will return after these messages. <laughs> Papa, sir! Gargamel stole an hour of our food, and I'm so hungry I could eat a house. I'll make something smurf delicious. What Smurfy magic? Look, new Smurf pasta from Chef Boyardee. It's Smurfy good for you. There's even Papa Smurf special sauce. Wow, Smurfy shape, you. You rats, outs. 
smurfed again. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. It's smurfy good. Inside this soft rubber ball is a neat new friend. Party and puffball popple sold separately. See? Pop goes to popple. Inside out they twist the shout. The popples love to party. <laughs> Popple, you let the fun out of the bag. Nine Popple characters, including Party and Puffball, come in different sizes and colors. Each Popple sold separately. New from a tip. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot and meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light-sensing zapper. When you play the system with the most arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, you're playing with power. And now, back to Inspector Gadget. I guess you're right, Uncle Gadget. All that stuff about ghosts is just superstition. Precisely, Penny. And that stuff about mad agents using this place as a hideout is preposterous. <laughs> Will you stop that brain? What next? I'm not sure, Penny. We've got to find a way to separate them, mad cat. <laughs> Really? You don't think that's too obvious? <laughs> Quite right. Inspector Gadget loves simple clues. Wowzers. Mm. An old tennis ball. Must be an old tennis court upstairs. Think I'll go take a look. I'm going too, Uncle Gadget. No, Penny, I don't think that will be necessary. You and Brain can wait right here. Hmm. Looks as if this leads to the tower. Funny place for a tennis court. Brain, there's something funny going on around here. I'm going to have a look around the basement. <laughs> no, uh, you keep an eye on Uncle Gadget, okay? If you're so afraid of ghosts, maybe you'd better dress as one and then they won't bother you. He's heading up the stairs toward you right now. Is everything ready? I'm ready as soon as he comes through the door, Dr. Claw. A tennis ball with the mad insignia rolls down these very stairs. Coincidence? I don't think so. Perhaps I might just have stumbled on the headquarters of their tennis team. Nothing to be afraid of here. There's no such thing as a ghost. And this is just a... Oh! What's this? A secret passageway. I'd better call Brain. Penny to Brain, come in. Brain, I found a secret passageway in the basement. Get Uncle Gadget quick and... Hmm. <gasps> it must be a very small tennis court. <laughs> So there are mad agents here after all. You crazy canine, for a minute I thought you were a mad agent. 
be the way upstairs. Don't these doors have secret buttons? <laughs> we seem to have fallen into the wine cellar, Penny. Or perhaps the wine press. Hi there, 
your brain. Would you mind hitting that switch? I don't know how you did it, Gadget. Nice work. You're not going to believe this, Chief. I think Mad had a miniature tennis court up there. Oh, is that so? I, Gadget, you will never catch me. Never. Oh, Uncle Gadget, it's like paradise up here. Yes, but one careless match could turn it into a disaster area. We must be very careful with fire. But what if we were camping? We'd need a fire. Well, I'd keep the fire very small and have a bucket of water nearby at all times. How do you make sure it's out? When no smoke or glowing coals are visible, then you're safe to walk away. I guess it's much better to play it safe. Right, Penny. It only takes a few minutes. A forest takes a lifetime to grow back again. Turn after these messages. It's the new Play Doh Sizzlin' Skillet. Play Doh food makes it sizzle. Nine volt battery not included. You can make it sizzle, it's fun to do. A burger will sizzle in the skillet for you. It sizzles like it's flying! Now some french fries and a steak. With the knife, you can turn the food you make. You can sizzle with Play Doh. The Play-Doh Sizzlin' Skillet comes complete with everything you see here. New from Kenner. I'm Woodsy Owl with a bird's eye view of America's beautiful schools, playgrounds, and parks. But look what happens when grown-ups and kids don't give a hoot about pollution. But what what can we do about litter? And vandalism! Just spread the word, give a hoot, don't pollute, and if you see litter, please pick it up. Because if you don't give a hoot, who will? In the city or in the woods, please keep America looking good. Hoot, hoot! It's Munchy Chi, good old doll, boy doll. School time and football fan outfits are each sold separately. Munchy Chi, Munchy Chi, oh so soft and cuddly. With the thumb in her mouth, she's really neat. Fun to wiggle his little feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy, happy Munchy Chi. I love you, Munchy Chi. Munchy Chi, girl doll and boy doll are each sold separately from Mattel. Oh, 
Only a sofa. Ready to play soccer, Carl? Yep. It's coming right to you. Carl can't catch the ball. What a sissy. Carl, what are you doing? I quit. I can't do anything right. Sure you can. Come back to the game, please. What's the use? I'll just mess up again. Carl, he can show you how to really play well. And what I know most, Carl, is that if you believe in yourself, you can be a champ. So you took the ball. Timmy, I'd like to challenge you to a game. Your team against mine. Yeah? Okay, but you get stuck with Carl. Of course we get Carl. He's our team captain. Team captain? Ha! Huh. But I can't play. I'm no good. You're as good as you think you are, Carl. And you've got friends to help you. Everybody, it's us against the Fuzzy Wuzzies and Carl. I can't do this, Cheer Bear. Sure you can, if you think you can. You guys have a boy? How about Carl? You expect me to block the shots? Don't worry, Carl. I'm Friend Bear, and friends always help other friends. How about me? I'll do it. It sounds like fun. Okay, Funshine Bear's goalie. Let's play ball. It'll be okay, Carl. I'll play right by you. There's no rules, and rule number one is my team starts. Hey, time out. That's not right. Charge! It's no use, Cheer Bear. I can't play with these guys. I'm just not good enough. It's not you against them. It's us against them. We'll do it. No, I can't do it. The other side got a point. Get your cotton candy here. Down in front. Carl's team is up. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Oh, Chad Bear, you're going the wrong way. 
Wow! Curl hit the ball! What a great shot, Curl! Play, Carl. You're a real champ. I can't do the kickoff. I'll mess it up. Teamwork, Carl. Teamwork. Care Bears! Mary! Pass it over here, Carl. <laughs> now, kick it in. What happened? Somebody tell me what happened. You scored another point. Good. But you scored more points than anybody. I just scored more points because you all helped me so much. Carl, teamwork isn't a trick. That's right, Carl. The game's starting. Now, where's the rest of my team? You can't start. That's a point for us. Hey, they started playing again without you. Scoring points! No! That's not fair! Will you help us play him now? You bet! You aren't playing by the rules. The score is tied, and whoever gets the next point wins. Champ Bear? Are you okay, Funshine Bear? We need a new goalie. How about Carl? Well, what about Champ Bear? He's a champ. We'll win with him. Carl, you're as much of a champ as you think you are. But I'm scared to be goalie. I can blow the whole game. You guys can't help me in there. Come on, Carl. You can do it. Remember, team, this is for the winning point. Care Bears, Mary, somebody, help! Hey! You won the game for us, Carl! What a champ! I did? I scored another point? Our hero! Nothing wrong with Funshine Bear. <laughs> She's walking fine. That's okay, Care Bears. Thanks for caring and giving me confidence in myself. And thanks for showing me I was really a champ all along. After these messages. 
I am a mouse. Ha! And my job is to eat things. One really fun thing I get to eat is Twizzlers candy. It makes me ha, happy. They're so chewy, and their fruity flavor mm -hmm, is so juicy. So if you have a mouth, and I know you do, may I personally recommend Twizzlers. <laughs> And now the weather from the United Broadcasting. Today's forecast calls for clear skies and mostly honey. Honey weather. Honey. Honey smacks. Taste sweet as honey, because I take puffs of wheat and smack them honey sweet. That's our weather forecast. Pour it on, dig em. A honey sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. Rain and sleet. Did one man say rain and sleet? No, honey sweet. Oh. <laughs> Kellogg's Honey Smacks. Taste sweet as honey. Let's see how He-Man likes your... Oh! Spike! <laughs> Skeletor, Spike-Or, and He-Man figures each sold separately. spike -or. No one can stop the spike-studded armor of the mighty Spike-Or! Not even me, you muscle-bound porcupine! Not even you, He-Man! Spike-Or is new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures each sold separately. From Mattel. Every time folks eat super fruity bonkers fruit candy, it makes a big hit. <laughs> now there's a big new flavor, bonkers watermelon. Mouth-watering watermelon with an extra fruity middle. Makes me want to eat it up. <laughs> new watermelon bonkers. It bonks you up. <laughs> Some candy. <laughs> shaking. It feels like an earthquake. But we're not on Earth. We're in Carolot. Maybe it's a cloud quake. We better find out exactly what it is. Spread out. Search Carolot. We've got to find out what's... Wha what's... causing this commotion. That noise has to be coming from somewhere. If only I can... Looking cloud. No! Don't do that! Hmm. 
Look, I'm sorry you keep falling down, but it's my job to eat holes in the clouds so the sun can shine through. You don't want it to be cloudy down on Earth, do you? Well, no, but... Well, at least the mystery's solved. Now if I just knew what to do about it. We searched high and low, but there was no sign of anything making that noise. The search is over. There's a worm in Carolot, and he's eating up our clouds. A worm? That's right, Share Bear. A cloud worm. Well, let's do something about it before the whole Hall of Hearts comes down on us. How much further is it, Love a Lot? I think we're getting close. Well, I know we're getting close. Stop! Please! Don't! Now, what is it? You've got to stop eating the clouds, Cloudworm. I can't. I'm hungry. We're your friends, and we'd like you to be our friend, too. I like friends. <laughs> Almost as much as clouds. Do something. Let me try again. If you eat up Carolot, you're going to make a lot of children unhappy. Everybody loves Carol. There's no reasoning with this cloud worm. We'd be happy to share another part of the sky with you. I like it here just fine. Retreat, Care Bears! Retreat! This is the worst emergency we've ever had! Carolot's falling apart! He's getting closer! Care Bears, prepare to defend the Hall of Hearts! The Cloud Worm's coming! Delicious! That was close! Carolot's crumbling! Help! The clouds are falling apart! Oh my gosh! We're gonna fall! I'm going to fall! Share Bear, what's going on here? A lot, since you and the others left to visit the Forest of Feelings. Looks like we got back in the nick of time. Care Bears, we've got some fancy flying to do. Gotcha, Grumpy Bear. That was a pretty rough landing, though. You sure made this Care Bear's wish come true. My pleasure, Champ Bear. You saved me, Funshine Bear. Like you always say, what are friends for? So you see, Care Bears, the Cloudworm isn't really mean, and he's only doing his job. But we've got to stop him before he destroys Carolot. Seems to me like there's only one solution. Care Bears, prepare to stare. Countdown. Three, two, one. Care Bears, stare. What am I doing? I'm ruining Care a lot with my chewing. I've got to stop eating these clouds. We did it! We stopped the cloud worm. We saved Carolot! Yay! Look what's happened to the Hall of Hearts. Don't worry, Grumpy. 
We can all pitch in and repair it. Now who's... Where's that sniffling coming from? From there. I was afraid this would happen if we stopped sharing our clouds. I don't want to eat your clouds. I know the trouble it caused. But I'm hungry and I'm sad. Why are you sad? Without me to eat holes in the clouds, the sky will be cloudy and no one on Earth will be able to enjoy the sunlight. We've got to get the cloud worm back to where he belongs. Come on, cloud worm. A little bit further. You made it. There. Thank goodness. Oh, I'm so weak. I couldn't wiggle another inch. It's not going any higher? It's high enough. Almost there. Hold on just a little longer, Cloud Worm. Well, you're on your way. This rainbow slide will take you to some delicious clouds. And not a second too soon. Thanks, Love a Lot. For thanks. Helping out is what Care Bears are all about. Goodbye, Care Bears. Bye, Cloud Worm. Good luck. Good eating. You know, I'll kind of miss the Cloud Worm. But not as much as sunny days would have been missed on Earth. Lots of new things. A friend will help you fix a flat. Oh, a friend will put you on a park swing and cheer you on when you step up to fight. After these messages, we'll be right back. Delicious gram snacks in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. Just wanna eat those teddy grams. I was so hot. I was frying. My throat was like a desert. Like Death Valley. I wish I had something cooler. Cold, like North Pole. Whoa! What can be cooler? It's the ultimate cool. Hey, let's have a party of our own. Yeah! I'm ready. Me too. We're all wearing the same gown. Don't worry, it's the three-in-one glamour gown. You wear the long ruffled skirt. You wear the glamorous gown. I'll wear the short and sassy party dress. Dazzling! With so many ways to wear the three-in-one glamour gown, we'll all look Different. <laughs> the new Dress and Dazzle 3 in 1 Glamour Gown. You'll know by the bow. Hey, Lisa, what's up? We're at a corn pops. 
Sorry. That's okay. My own sister, you ate all my Kellogg's corn pops. Stay calm. I'll just get something else. We're supposed to share and look at you. Where's mom? Mom, that pops tastes like sweet popcorn. You always want more. And you, you little goober, ain't the last ball ball. Hey, guys. Oh, corn pops. That's a good idea. Kellogg's corn pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. Morning. Welcome to Strawberry Land. You can't see it. Oh, just a dot on the map. Ah, finest strawberries this side of the rainbow. The personal strawberry patch of Miss Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> she lives in a shortcake. Now that sounds like fun. And she tends to a farm through the rain and the sun. That's Custard, her calico cat on the floor. But uh, we'll let them both sleep for just a dream more. Now, there's lots of other little berry folk. <laughs> Shucks, they're all sleeping too. We'll meet them later. <laughs> Somebody's awake. Yep, it's that honorary, mean, and miserable, silly old sneak, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yatta da 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 da. Away, berry birds! Steal me berries! I need berries for my pies. Berries! Oh, berries! <laughs> He better not try to spoil this special day. What's so special about it? <laughs> Just you wait and see. <laughs> Boys and girls, moms and dads, brothers and sisters, cats and dogs, welcome to the world of Strawberry Shortcake. Who sleeps all night in a cake bed? Her floors in a cake made of strawberry Plays outdoors of a cake made of strawberry Games and chores in a cake made of strawberry Strawberry shortcake Wouldn't you know It's love that makes her garden grow With lots of pretty berries in a row She greets each day with a berry glow She's strawberry shortcake Wouldn't you know What's it like to stay in a cake made of strawberry Work and play in a cake made of strawberry Learn the way of little Miss Strawberry Strawberry shortcake And you will know Strawberry shortcake says you'll know Well, guess it's about time for everyone to rise and shine My goodness, it's late. It's very late. Wake up. Oh, sometimes I wish I had an alarm clock that didn't oversleep. Wake up, Custard. Oh, my. I said, wake up. <laughs> oh, my, what a face. That's no way to start the day. You'll never understand. If you want a sunny morning, you must give the sun a hand. How you ask? It's very simple. Show some grit. Show a dimple. Turn that frown upside down. Upside down. Bravo! A smile that's worthy of a clown.
Now, what Shortcake doesn't realize is the peculiar purple pieman is watching her every move in his magic pie tin. <laughs> now, everything's very wonderful, eh? She doesn't suspect a thing. The perfect time to attack. Berry bird, away! Steal me berries for my pie! <laughs> Everybody's up by now. Lots of work to do on market day. But just look at that huckleberry pie. Loafing again. Today's too important for such goings on. Have you forgotten? It's Strawberry Shortcake's birthday. I didn't forget. Did you get her a present? Did you plan a party? I'm getting around to it. We'll get a move on. Okay, okay. Come on, Pupcake. We gotta see Blueberry Muffin. Shortcake's birthday, I plum forgot. You sure do forget things lately. You're right. Well, let's get plum pudding and plan a party for her. Come on. I think I know just what to do. I'll calculate, conjugate, equate and equalize, and come to the conclusion that the party be surprise. A surprise party? Is somebody having a birthday? Come on. Let's find raspberry tart. A party for shortcake? How old is she? Six. I think she's seven if she's a day. Party, when will you learn not to say what you think till you think about it a little more? Apple dumpling! Why, honey, what are you doing here? Did you forget she can't talk yet? She writes me notes only I understand. Idea. Good thinking, Apple Dumpling. Oh, did Dumpling think of that? <laughs> hey, down there. It's high noon now. Whew. About as high as I climb. And noon means lunch. Eating time! Lunch time, Custard. I'm hungry. Aren't you? No. You don't want any lunch today? You have another appointment, you say? Escargot? Ooh la la, chérie. I forgot. Mon dieu. I, too, have another rendezvous. Lunch? Nope. I'm going fishing. I plum forgot all about our lunch date. Bye. You both are busy? <laughs> now, the reason all Shortcake's friends deserted her was they had to set up her surprise party. And they brought a pile of ice cream down near as big as ice cream Sunday Mountain. But one thing they couldn't do was decide on the proper gift. We'll just have to send out a spy to find out what she really wants. It's all up to you, Lucky Bug. Ah, I 
I'm a little old peddler, quiet and meek. But under it all, I am still, so to speak, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Yatta yatta ta 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 Aha, a customer. Why, bless my soul. Well, if it isn't strawberry shortcake. <laughs> my bones and stuff that's good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. This summer, coming to a supermarket near you, there's going to be a great new high C flavor with an outrageous food taste. And what are we going to call it? Ecto Cooler. High C Ecto Cooler. Slimer's new food drink. You've been warned. Mr. Peddler Man, what are you peddling today? Watering can. How pretty. This watering can is a magical pot. Now it's empty. What? Now it's not. <gasps> oh! Abracadabra, it never runs dry. I guarantee strawberries seven feet high. It's wondrous. It's magic. It's nifty. For others, ten bucks. For you, seven fifty. I'm afraid it costs too much for me. Ye god. Eh, eh, eh. B birthday present, you say? What a splendid idea. Lead the way to Lilac Park. <laughs> Here's the money. We all pitched in. You won't regret this purchase. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone seem to like me anymore? Oh, I can't let this go on. Hey, down there. Your friends didn't desert you. They were all over in Lilac Park. Why? Just go take a peek and see. Okay. And then it was time to give the present. For our best friend. Happy birthday. What can it be? I wonder. The watering can. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I love you all so much. Aren't you a little old for those things, dearie? But it's magic. Look, 
it's empty, but when I tip it... How do you stop it, Shortcake? Just tip the can back up, I suppose. Uh-oh, didn't work. Maybe it takes a magic command. Water, stop! The way to stop it scientifically is to cap the spout. Bring a leak. <laughs> the peculiar purple pine and a porcupine peak. Yeah, ta 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 He tricked us. What do you want from us anyway? Berries. Berries. Understand? Every last berry in Strawberry Land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our pretty berries. Well, they had to take the pieman's deal. Every last berry to the last berry peel. They picked them and plucked them and dried them and tucked them in boxes and baskets, and then they all trucked them to Porcupine Peak on rafts made of flotsam. He wanted some berries. By golly, he got some. Uh-oh, looks like a stowaway. When the waters receded, they fell with a thud. Found their proud homeland was homely as... Mud! Where's the Apple Dumpling? Gee, she's gone. Apple Dumpling gone? She fell asleep in one of the berry carts? And now she's in the Pie Tin Palace? I guess we'll never get Dumpling back. Now, hold on. I haven't given you your birthday present yet. A present won't help. This will. It's a magic wish. Magic? Uh-huh. Now, close your eyes and wish real hard. I wish for someone strong enough to stand up to that pineapple. Someone as strong as that tree who frightened the birds this morning. But I'd need a whole army of trees to defeat that pine ant. Then an army of trees it shall be, at your service. I hereby surrender and promise to be a good guy from now on. You surrender? You want me to sign that? Never! <laughs> oh, oh uh, well, uh, upon due consideration, however... Uh, he surrendered! The pie man surrendered! You have your berries back. Now, here's your dumpling. <laughs> 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 
Oh, please show mercy. <laughs> mercy? We'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with us. Friends? After all I tried to do to you? There's a good side to everyone. Oh? What's good about me? Well... Um... You can make pies. That's pretty good. Bring them to Sunflower Market, play regular, and we all can have a grand time. A very grand time. Oh, you, you said berry again. Uh-huh. Why must you keep saying uh, berry? It's fun to say berry. Fun to say berry? I berry talk all the day through. If you could just teach me, perhaps you could reach me. I'd like to berry talk to. Okay, I'll show you how. Goody. If a day is real hot, it is very hot. And if it is cold, very chilly. If a book is real long, it is very long. And if it is short, oh, I feel silly. Oh, no, don't feel silly. But you didn't say berry. I tried to say berry. My mouth won't do as it's told. Well, listen to berries. I'll sing some more berries. On berry talk, you must be sold. Oh, goody pumpkins. Like a right cross stream on the berry boat. Her berries are extraordinary. And what do I see when I turn on TV? My favorite cartoon, Tom and Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible berry. A very fine berry. I did it. I know what to say. You better stand far back. I'm just gonna run back and berry talk all of the way. Okay, now you do it. On Halloween night, I am very scared. The very bad guys I can't dismiss. And what do I say on Christmas Day? With a berry? Yeah, berry Christmas. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> You've learned to say berry. Oh, I love to say berry. Then I'll be your very good friend. We'll berry together. In all sorts of weather. Very, very good, good friends, friends to the end. end. We'll, we'll berry together. together. In all sorts of weather. Very good friends to the end. Now, these messages. The secret of my real clock is that it becomes a gem. Lots of ways to work out. Sweet secret, always something new, hiding inside for you. Workout time from Galoo. Sweet secret. The secret of my pen is that it becomes my best friend, and my notepad becomes their home. Sweet secret, always something new, hiding inside. Sold separately from Galoo. He went underground. They're hot on the trail of the sinister Mr. X. Working together at Scotland Yard, you scour the city until you trap him. Oh, no! <laughs> I did it! Scotland Yard, the award-winning game from Milton Bradley. Hey, you just cleared my homework. But I just put on a coming tempting program on this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, awesome taste. It's a honey of the Cheerios. Now, inside Honey Nut Cheerios is a free package of Nestle Quick. You're all mine. One free package of Nestle Quick in marked boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. But you better drink huh? it quick. Because everyone loves the chocolatey taste of chocolatey Nestle Quick. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. Want some? It's a little blue guy with big ears. He wants to share his Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces? Reese's Pieces. Mmm, they're real candy with a crunchy candy shell. But, Mom, you got to see this little blue guy. Look. Cousin Willie. Very funny, Jimmy. Reese's Pieces, peanut butter cream in a candy shell. The taste that's out of this world.
Milk is dead. Milk does a body. Milk does a body good. Pass it on. What you mean? To keep you cool and keep you lean. Makes you big, makes you strong. Picks you up all day long. It does. It's all there. Good for teeth and bones and hair. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does a body good. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on.